Hello, I'll show you how to use the new version of AirPrint Activator to actually share local or network printers that are not AirPrint compatible with um, iPad, iPhones, iPod Touch. So what you do, you use the new application version that comes as an installer and you double click on the icon. This will actually install a preference pane uh, into the system preference uh, folder for you. And once the installation is complete, uh, it takes almost zero seconds and you're gonna get this confirmation message. You just click OK. And the preference pane will open to AirPrint Activator. What you need to do at this point is fairly simple. You can click on the switch to turn AirPrint Activator on, like this, and as you can see right now, there is no printer listed because there is no actual printers being shared. So I'm going to show you how to accomplish the printer sharing function, which is very simple. You just actually move back, you go to, first of all, the print and scan icon, and you select a printer to share. Uh, in this case, let's pretend I want to share this uh, broader DCP 730 printer. So I'm going to click on the share this printer on the network. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time as OS X set things up, but OS X is nice enough now to tell you that the printer sharing is turned off, even though I've told it to share this printer. If you see a message to that effect, to the effect that the printer sharing is turned off, what you need to do is go back to their system preferences uh, screen, click on the sharing icon, and this is where you need to toggle printer sharing. Once you've done that, printer sharing will be truly enabled. And if you move back to AirPrint Activator, now you will see that this AirPrint uh, printer is now advertised as APA Brother BCP. It's actually prefaced with the word APA, so you can actually know that this is an AirPrint Activator shared printer on your device. If you want to add another printer later on, you can go back to the printer and let's say now I want to add this testing printer that I've got. I can click on share because we've already enabled printer sharing. Everything is set up right. So I can go back here and just to see that it's being shared by AirPrint Activator and you can see that yes, in the list it's showing. That's all there is to it. Let's say that you don't like this uh, prefix in front of the printer saying you want to change it to something else you can click to on the advanced settings and you can change it to something else if you want to put it as air print you can just type it like so and you click apply change and it's going to go and change the prefix for the printers if you wanted to share printers that are also shared by other computers on your network. You can remove the only share advertised locally shared printer and it will actually do the magic. It will actually uh, start sharing on the other uh, systems behalf the printers. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you want to Turn off AirPrint Activator. What you need to do is simply toggle it to off. If you want to uh, turn it back on, you can toggle it back to on. And since it's a preference pane for the local user only, it will only work when you are logged into your computer in your computer account. So you don't even have to go back to the system preference. It's sitting there. As soon as you log in, it will actually uh, start uh, again as a demon in the background. So that's all there is to it. That's how you actually share a printer with AirPrint Activator. Just a little trick, if you ever want to get rid of the application, you just need to right click on the application and select remove AirPrint Activator preference pane and it will do the trick. Enjoy!